Hey, hey, everybody! It is I, Fork, as you no doubt knew, and I would like to welcome you to the 10th episode of Indie Bites. Our first game today is Off by Mortis Ghost and translated by the reconstructed game team from French to English. Now, I don't want to talk too much about the plot and lore of this game. I'll talk about basics. Uh, you are in control of the batter, and your mission is to cleanse existence of vile things, and so far I've gone through a couple zones and I need to clear out this thing right now. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to say about the plot without spoiling anything. Um, it plays like Earthbound, it plays like Mother, which are the same game. It plays like Final Fantasy and there's not much else to say about the mechanics apart from that. You've still got spells but they're called competences. You get allies and this is the only one that I've gotten so far. His name is Alpha. I don't... There's, there's no story to him or anything like that. But what makes this game so special is how off-kilter it is. The first character you meet is a cat called the Judge, and he's missing a part of his face. It's just exposed bone. Uh, there's a warning before you hop into the game that says that some of the images may be too graphic for people. And, you know, not everybody may be able to handle it. Uh, let's go ahead and flip the switch. I don't actually know where I'm going right now. Oh! Jesus, that scared the, that, that beep scared the crap out of me. Um, these, the monster designs are really, really awesome. And just, I'm very excited to get more and more into this game. Uh, geez, there's, there's really not much else to say. Um, so let's go ahead and get through this. And just, it's, it's atmospheric, it's interesting, I love the soundtrack. And I, it's a, this story sucked me right in faster than I would like to admit. But here, here I am. So that's. Let's use a competence on this game. Bam! Headshot. All right. That's really all there is to say about this one. I mean, go check it out. It's fantastic. It's free, and there's a link in the. Always interrupted me with these combats. There's a link in the description, so feel free to go ahead and check it out. What is this guy called? Give me the wide angle on him. This is January. Go with dusty breath. Okay, light weakness against metal. Hmm. Get him. Come on, let me... Yes. Boom. All right, fantastic. So definitely go check it out, link in the description. I will see you guys in the next game! Our second game for the day is Offworld by Tengu Games. This is a single player dog fighting game. Uh, two factions, let's see. Do we want to be a ninja or a royal? Let's be a ninja, because purple's cool. All right, so, basics about this game. There are two vehicle classes, destroyer and fighter. Destroyer is your large heavy one. It, you know, it has slower weapons, fighters really fast. It can't take too many hits. There's long shot, or you uh, you choose your weapons for each ship. You've got long shot and tri gun. Long shot is gonna be you know like a sniper rifle. Tri gun is gonna be sort of like a shotgun. A shotgun that isn't a shotgun, I guess. I don't know. Let me see. Oh, okay, it's like a chain gun. There we go. And then in, you've got a secondary shotgun mines and fighter has the same weapons, but its secondary has a boost instead of a shotgun. Let's go ahead and set up like this. Uh, won't invert the axis, and we'll go ahead and spawn. So this, like I said, it's only single player, unfortunately. Oh, that's right, no, we're the purple guys. <laughs> Want to shoot these uh, these red guys. Ships don't really seem to take too many hits. Um, which is interesting, but could also be better. It sort of gives a, uh, makes you have to be careful when you're running in a battle, which is, ooh, there you go. See, I died in like just a few hits. Um, it's really interesting. The only complaints I really have about it are that it's only single player. This would be super fun to play with friends. And you know, if it, if it had more game modes or any number of things could, ooh, <laughs> I walked into that one. Any number of things could improve this game and just add a lot more to the experience of it. And I would really, really love to see a more expanded version of this. 
more game modes. Uh, multiplayer. Multiplayer, multiplayer. More ships, more guns. More secondaries. That's... Yeah, oh! <laughs> It is a bit chaotic, but I mean, since it's basically just Team Deathmatch, you don't really have to pay attention to too much. Um, you can't slow down either, which is kind of weird. Oh, jeez. Where is he? There he is. Oh, oh, sudden death! Oh, goodness. Okay, so everybody's gonna die in one hit. I take it. And I, that was me. I died. We won, though! Woo! I got four kills and four deaths. All right. Well, that's our second game for the day. Uh, it's got a price of pay what you want, so it can either be free or you can give the developer some money for it. That's all up to you. Link in the description. On to our last game. All right, our last game for today is Cacto Loco by Tnerb and his team. This is actually a pre-alpha game, but I really, really wanted to show it off just because of how charming it is. It's a classic shoot 'em up. Here, so let's go ahead and hop in. Actually, it's a classic shoot 'em up, except you're a cactus. What really, what really makes this game shine, I feel, is just the design, the aesthetic of it. Just listen to the music, look at the creatures, how vibrant and colorful this is. The fact that you pick up peppers in order to upgrade your weapon. It's it's paced nicely, and you don't just move in one direction the entire time. Now I th ooh Jesus this part. So the, <laughs> the story of this game pretty simple. Uh, you the cactus were not always a cactus. <laughs> you were hanging out with your lover on the witch doctor. That's this guy. This guy on his land. So he cursed you and turned you into a cactus. Now the spell is wearing off and you are trying to find your long lost lover. Now I, I don't remember how much time has passed or if it even told me, but uh, come on, get him. Yes, get root. Trying to do a little bird. Oh, that's great. I got hit a few times though, so I lost some. Oh, hey, there's a secret here. Sweet! No, get away, get away, get away. Get away. Oh my goodness gracious. And did I mention the soundtrack yet? Because listen to the soundtrack. Oh my goodness gracious. It's fantastic. What the fringe kerfuffle is that guy? Oh goodness. I forgot about him. Oh, now I lost my freaking power up. Oh, lost another one. Now we go up. Oh, no, now the bad guys come and get us. Okay, that's... Come on. <laughs> now, I kind of wish that it had a full 360 degrees of turn-in instead of just at various angles, but, I mean, it works. It's not terrible. Oh. You, know, you just got to be careful and pay attention to where... Oh, gee, rocks. What the... What the hell? I forgot about all of these things. Oh, shit. Oh, that's right. Fuck. Oh, come on, Cactus Man. Come on, Cactus Man. You can't die here. Nope, you got a you gotta data save. Now, being a pre-alpha, it's, it's not very long yet. In fact, there's one more boss that's coming up shortly. Hmm. But I, I have good faith that they will add plenty more to this. Oh, come on. On, get get wrecked, get wrecked, get wrecked. I'm gonna trash you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, cactus got squished. Okay, I'm almost out of lives. But whatever, I'm gonna kick this guy's buns. Kick his buns! Yes, oh, and that's it. So, wait. Bah, I'm a sheep. There we go, that's my high score. All right, so that is Them's all the games we got for today. I'd like to thank you for joining me as usual. Uh, if you find that you enjoy this, go ahead and leave a like, comment to let me know what you thought, and let me know if you have any suggestions for games that I could feature on the next episode of Indie Bites. See you next time.